Club. This is your boy Jonah, and I'm back, y'all, with another video. <clears throat> and I just want to do the video for a minute, you know, and talk through teenagers and youngsters, youngsters and teenagers, and and even my son and my niece and my nephew and my little cousins okay and I just want to do the videos for a minute you know it's not gonna be that long you know I just want to do a video at least like at least like uh, about 10 minutes or 12 minutes it's not gonna be that long okay and I just wanna uh, you know just talk about that for a minute you know children Obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Okay? All of y'all need to listen to your parents. Okay? You're living their rules. Okay? Those who, those who live with your mama. Those who live with your daddy. Okay? And you need to live with their rules, okay? It's nothing you can do about it. it. Is what it is, all right? Now, what's going to happen, y'all? I'm talking to a teenager and youngster. I don't care how color you are. I don't care what state you are. What's going to happen if you don't obey your mama and your daddy? What's going to happen? You want to shirt your blessing, okay? You want to shirt your life because you don't want to listen to your daddy. You don't want to listen to your mama, okay? Now, first this. They brought you to this world, okay? Your mama and your daddy, they put some food in your stomach. They the one take, um, to take you shopping, to buy your clothing and your shoes and your underwear and some shirts, okay? And your daddy take your um take you get your hair done, get your hair cut, get your head raised, whatever, okay? And your daddy buy you something, you know what you want to uh, get, okay? Your daddy, your mama bought your toys, you know he bought your the uh uh the wallet gun, whatever. Okay, you live with their rules. You got to listen to your mama and your daddy. If you don't want to listen to your mama and your daddy, they're not going to give you anything. You know why? Because you want to have your way. No, you can't do that. You cannot have your way. What are you doing? What are you doing if you don't want to listen to your mama? What are you doing you don't want to listen to your daddy? You want to have your way? No, you're not going to get away with it. You going you know what I'm saying? You are going to face the consequences. You going going to get spanking. You want to get grounded because you want to have your way. Okay? You got to respect your mama, you got to respect your daddy. It is what it is. Okay? That's the one that take you to school. That's the one to take you to the doctor. That's the one to take you shopping to buy clothes, to buy underwear. That's the one to take you to the dentist. That's the one to take you everywhere you go. Okay? They want to take care of you. You know, that's the one to take you, uh, you know what I'm saying, put you in the bath and, and take a bath. You know what I'm saying? You know, you live in their roofs. It's what it is. Doesn't matter how bad your parents are, doesn't matter how good your parents are, but you still going to listen to your parents. That's what the Bible says. If you don't listen to your parents, that means you don't listen to the most high. Okay? Now, now let me let me just show you something. What's gonna happen? You know what's going on, the teenagers and the youngsters. Most of the teenagers and youngsters, 
you know, they're on the street. Some of they're homeless. You know, some of some of some of uh teenagers live in the um different homes. You know why? Because they don't want to listen to their parents. Okay? And they got some parents out there, they take you out, you know, but that was wrong. But I don't want to say that, you know, because that was wrong for our parents. They take their children out, you know, because they're going to jail for that. See, this is what happened. You don't respect your mom and your daddy. Okay. Now, I'm not going to say that because just because the kids was acting bad. But and I'm going to say something else. Back to the teenagers. You don't want to be like other other ones on the street. You don't want to be like that. You don't want to be like a, uh, you know, one of teenager or gang banging. You don't want to be like that, right? You don't want to be on the street selling drugs and selling alcohol, guns and knives and the game. You don't want to. You don't want all that. You don't want to be put out on the street. You want to listen to your parents, okay? That's right. There are these teenagers. Youngster and younger adults, they shirt their life. You know, they got some more teenagers out there. You know, got robbed, got shot. You know, got a lot of teenagers. A lot of youngsters are missing. You know, because they don't want to listen to the parents. Okay? Now, first thing this I got to say this. This is not your rules, okay? You can hang that up. I don't care what people tell you. You don't have no rules. Your mama, your daddy, whoever, they got rules, okay? Because they are the head in the house. That's right, not you. I repeat, they are head in the house, not you. You don't want to live with them. You're not paying the bills with them. No. You're not paying bills. Only them pay bills. That's the one they feed you. Okay? They feed your breakfast. They feed your lunch. They feed your dinner. They don't want to feed you. Okay? So, give me a favor, y'all. Listen to your mama and your daddy. And, 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 and guess and, 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 Look what God's going to give to you. God going to bless you. He can give you eternal life. And you will live longer. That's right. Now, let's talk about something else. Some of the teenagers, some of y'all teenagers and youngsters out there, you know, don't have a parents, don't have a mom, don't have a dad, you know, and, um, you know, you live we live with somebody, you know, even relative, you know, um some of y'all live by your auntie and your uncle and even your grandma and your grandpa. But still you got to respect them and you got to obey them. Okay? This is not your parents, you know, but still you got to listen to them. And you got to obey their rules. That's the one that take care of you. They got your birth certificate, social security card, all, all this and that, life insurance every day. But you got to respect them. That's the one that take care of you. Your daddy's not there for you. Your mama's not there for you. You know, you know I me. Mean? I don't know nothing about you, you guys. You know, I don't know your mama. Your daddy passed away. If there was, I'm really sorry to hear that. But still, you got someone in your family. They take care of you. But guess what? But still, you got to respect them. Your grandpa, your grandma, even your auntie, your uncle, even your cousin, even your sister, and your great-great-auntie. That's right. You got to respect them. You live in their rules. Okay, now let me tell you something. If you're at least 18 years old, you had a right to be on your own. Let me repeat that. 
excuse me. Let me repeat that. If you're at least 18 years old, you on your own. You on your own. Okay? Now, let me tell you something. If you're at least 18 years old, you need to get up. One thing. One thing I gotta say this. If you're at least 18 years old, get a job or go to college or find your place. Let me repeat that. If you're at least 18 years old, you're old enough to be on your own. Go find your job. Go find your place. Go find someone, your wife, or even your husband. Okay? Now, let me tell you something. Find someone who got Christ, y'all, in your life. Let me repeat that. If you find someone, your woman, your man, find a good person who got y'all in their life. Don't get one who don't have God in their life. Don't get one because it's not but wasting time. Find someone who got God in their life. The first thing is you got to put y'all first. Okay, you got to put God first to find someone. But now you don't need nobody. You don't need no boyfriend. You don't need no girlfriend. You need to do Go find your job. Go to the college, whatever you go to, to leave out the parents' house. You're not going to stay with them forever. They take care of you for years and years, okay? If you don't like what they be doing, you don't like the way they treat you, so you got you had a right to leave. But you six years old, you're seven, you're eight, nine, ten, eleven years old, you're not going nowhere, okay? Because you got so much grown you got to do. Okay, you got to finish school. Okay, doesn't matter your parents, how they treat you and all this and that, but you still, you got to obey your parents. That's right. Now, let me talk to my son, okay? I know my son be listening to my videos. Okay, um, Jante, I'm going to get on you about it, okay? Because I love you. Listen to you, ain't T. Okay, especially Drelly London. Listen to her. Okay, listen to her. That's the one who cares about you. Okay, but I gotta be honest. You gotta be listening to your other ain't as well too. That's the one she take care of you. That's the one to take you to the doctor, take you to school. You know, to put food in your stomach, to buy clothing, to buy uh, buy uh, buy toys. Whatever she give you, okay? But listen, she's not your mama, okay? She's not your mama. Don't believe everything she say. She's not your mama. She's your auntie. But still, you got to respect her, okay? Doesn't matter how, how bad she is. Doesn't matter she talk bad about me and your mama. But you still got to respect her. If you don't like the way she talk about me and your mama... Just ignore her and mind your own business and go away. I mean, go to your room. Go to your room or go by your, your other auntie. Get along with her. Let me repeat that, son. Let me repeat that. If your, your auntie, Danielle, talk all the nonsense about me and your mama, ignore her and go to your room and, and do what you got to do to your room, clean up or... Watch a watch a movie, whatever you're doing, because I know you got a TV in your room. Or right, get along with Andrea London. Okay? That's the one I trust. Okay? She's not the one talk bad about me. Okay? That's the one I trust. Get along with her. Okay? But you still you gotta respect her. You gotta respect her. You gotta respect your AT. You gotta respect your uncle. Those who take care of you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because you live in their rules. All right? It's what it is. You live in their rules. Okay? Now, John I know it's crazy. I know you don't want to listen to A.T. Danielle. Whatever going on. Well, guess what? But guess what? I'm assuming you give me an apartment. I'm assuming you give me a house. I don't know when it's going to be. Okay? Out here in Cali, it's so hard for me to find a place. I'm in a motel apartment. 
You know, I, you know what I'm saying? I could get you right now if I had to. I could get you right now because I got plenty of room. Okay? But it took time, though. You know, I got to get my money saved up, you know, to, to go uh, go to the court and just, you know, talk to the people what was really going on. But it took time, though. But still, you got to respect your auntie and your uncle, okay? Remember that. They not your daddy. They not your mama. They're your uncle and your auntie, okay? Now, if you don't want to get along with them, get along with your other auntie. That's the one I trust. That's the one I trust. It is what it is, though, okay? Now... Now let, let let me talk about my niece, okay? Kayla, you get on you about that. I heard about you don't want you don't want to listen to your mama. You know, all that stuff what she be doing, I understand. But still, you got to listen to your mama. That's in the Bible say, honor thy mother and your father, for this is right. If you don't want to listen to your mama, you shirt your blessing. Okay? You want to show your blessing. What are you doing? Okay? What are you doing? You got to stop doing things what teenagers be doing. Be yourself what y'all wants you to be. Okay? That's right. That's right. Listen to your mama. Go by your mama house and show her love. Simple. Show your mama love. That's right. Show your mama love. Okay? Now, and I don't know much I got to say, you know, for all of y'all people out there, you know, remember that. You got to listen to your parents. You got to listen to your uncle. Also, you got to respect the elders. You got to respect them, those who take care of you. Okay? You got to respect them. You got to honor them. All right? Clean up behind yourself. Wash the dishes. You know what I'm saying? Mop, clean the floor, whatever you're doing. Cut grass, whatever. Make your family happy. It's not that hard. Make your family happy. That's right. John Tate goes to you. Make your people happy. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. Make, make your, your auntie happy. Make Andre London happy. I know y'all two was get along. I'm happy. I'm happy. I know y'all two get along, but still you gotta respect her. You gotta obey her. Okay? She cook for you. You gotta clean up behind yourself. You respect her. That's right. And that's all I gotta be saying, you know. And um and that's all I gotta be saying. Take heed for this message for your heart. Uh, children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. And that's all I'm going to be saying. This is Jonah, y'all. Much love for y'all. I am out. Peace. Remember, children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Look how good you really are for listening to your parents. You're going to live longer. Okay? You got to be strong and just do what they told you to do. Simple. You not do everything you want. No, it's never happening. And that's all I gotta be saying. This is Jonah, y'all. I am out. Peace.